Yo, there is nothing more intimidating than going to your very first powerlifting competition and not knowing anyone there, not knowing what to do and where to go to to get some help. Luckily for you guys, I got seven tips for you that I think will totally help you with your powerlifting competition. So let's get right into it and let's start off with the very first tip. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna think about is making sure you have all the equipment that you need and make sure they're all IPF approved. So just go onto the local meat website or whichever meat that you sign up for, look at their list of things that are IPF approved and can be used at your competition. If you can do all those things, you'll be definitely be good to go. I think the last thing you wanna worry about is if your equipment can be used or not. And if you bring in your equipment that isn't IPF approved, you're totally screwed without it. So make sure you take a look at it. All right, tip number two, get there early. Get there two to three hours early so you have ample time to make sure you get all your equipment checked, get your weight in, and also familiarize yourself with the environment there and just kind of get a feel for it and get the commands and see how everyone else is doing it. That's tip number two. All right, y'all. Tip number three, once you get there, you will see a warm-up rack for your bench or squat and make sure you go there, use it, and familiarize yourself with the bars and basically how the squat works. And also make sure you look at what your height is and what your safeties are for your bench press and your squat. They're gonna ask you that question once you sign in. So once you sign in, write down your heights and your safety that you've already done before. In my recommendation, make sure you put your safety just slightly lower than usual. Even if you fail, people are gonna be there to spot you. The reason why we put it just a little bit lower is because I remember during my competition, the bar actually hit the safety and that would basically be a missed lift or a red light. So definitely don't do what I did and make your safety just a little bit lower than you usually have it. All right, y'all, tip number four. This one is making sure you keep your first attempt very light and very confident. So the whole point of doing your first attempt is making sure you don't bomb up your entire meat. Bombing out basically means that if you fail your first lift, you can't lower the weight on your second and third attempts. So if you fail your first one, you pretty much can't be doing your second or third attempt. So if I were you, I would recommend doing a weight that's probably around RPE six or something that you could do six reps of super easy, especially if you're injured or dealt with a past injury or you're just unconfident. That's just what I would do though. Okay, this is your fifth tip and this is putting your equipment on properly. Now I know this sounds ridiculous, but there's very weird rules that they have for some meets, not all. So for an example, make sure your thumb loop on your wrist wraps are off. Make sure your singlet is on properly and make sure there's space between your singlet to your knee sleeve to your socks. And I guess that's just a way for them to know that you're not putting anything underneath you to I guess cheat. I have no idea, but those are just some things that you want to make sure you'll be doing properly. Okay, this is your bonus tip and upon your deadlift, something that I would recommend you do is bring a jug or a bottle of baby powder, I guess, and you want to generously apply it all on your thighs and your quads and even your calves if you want. And basically that's just gonna prevent some friction from the deadlift bar going up to your lockup position. Um, that's something totally ridiculous when I first did my first powerlifting competition, but that is something that I would totally recommend you do. It won't help like crazy, but it's still gonna help you from having like a sticking point and you're like kind of just having a lot of friction against your sweat on your quads. So that's just what I would recommend though. Okay. This is your sixth tip, and this one is familiarize yourself with the commands. Now, I know this might sound crazy, but um, I would definitely have some practice with your commands with your friend or someone at the gym, your gym partner, and just understand that your bench is gonna be a start, a press, and a rack. And you have to do all those things as soon as they say it, otherwise you will get a red light. Um, for your squat, it's just a start, and then a rack, and that's it. And then for your deadlifts, it's gonna be a start and then down and that's it. So make sure you follow those commands very precisely and don't go any earlier than they are gonna say it. Otherwise, your lift won't count and that's something that you don't wanna do and that's something I definitely don't want to see you do. Okay, now this is gonna be your 
other bonus tip, and this one is basically, during some meets, you're gonna have somebody there that's gonna unrack for you. Sometimes they'll let your coach or your friend unrack for you instead. However, if you do have someone that you don't know that's gonna be unracking for you, one of the staff members, I would think that the best thing to do is once you get up there, you ask them, hey, I want you to unrack it on one. So on three, two, one, I want you to unrack it. That's exactly what I told my um, unracker person when he asked me, but uh, that's gonna be totally helpful for you, I think at least. And it's probably just like polite if you let him know as well, because that's his like job there and they're all volunteers. Okay, now this is your seventh tip and this tip is basically talking to you guys about what the judge is gonna be looking for. So one thing that the judge will be looking for during your bench press is they're gonna check if your arms are locked out and then in addition to that, they're gonna make sure if your head's on the bench, your ass is on the bench and your whole entire foot is on the bench. This is very specific to the meat. Sometimes let your heels off, sometimes let your heels uh, on the ground. So make sure you look at your rules before you go into your meet without knowing them. Secondly, your squat, they're gonna be looking for your legs fully locked out before they start you. They're gonna watch you to make sure you hit parallel and then they're gonna ask you to rack it when they tell you to rack it. So make sure you get all those commands correctly. And the last one is deadlifts and this is arguably probably the easiest one to do. When they say start, start and as you lock out make sure your chest is up and your shoulders are back. That way the ref can totally see that or the judge can totally see that you are fully locked out. And once you're locked out they'll tell you to put it down and once you put it down make sure you keep your hands on the bar and do not let go any earlier than when the bar or the weights are touching the ground. Otherwise, you might get called for a red light, and that's something that I experienced at my meet. Okay, speaking of red lights during your deadlifts, that's something that I experienced during my very first competition, and if you wanna check out a video about that, I'm gonna leave a link up in here, or here. I can't remember this, I, I'm, I'm positive it's this side. I'm positive, it should be, right? Anyways, make sure you check it out. I really enjoyed telling the story about it. I'm sorry that I don't have more uh, videos or like content behind it instead of just my face, but you do what you gotta do. Um, anyways guys, that's about it about this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed it and loved it, make sure you subscribe, that would really help me out. We're a small channel and we're trying to make it. So yeah guys, I hope you guys do well at your first Paralympic competition. Obviously with COVID-19, they're all like shut down and you shouldn't be doing them anyways right now or hosting them. But one day, once it does open up again, I'm very excited to hear about your experience at your Paralympic competition. And if you have one right now, make sure you leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah guys, we're a small channel, trying to make it. So catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace.